everyone welcome to the next video in this rooms of wonder lost items series i know i keep forgetting to tell you which pencils i'm using i'm using my stedler design journey pencils but the pencil numbers are true for all stedler sets um so hopefully that will help you a little bit if you're using ergosoft or um whatever the others are <laughs> right we have a pretty charm bracelet here today um, I'm trying to think about how to do it. I'm going to start. I want a silvery grey. I think I'm going to use number 80, which is the light grey. I think that's the most silvery to start with. And what I'm going to do with this one is the smallest parts of it. So the small circles, this link here, and then the small circles. Ideally, I would want to leave a white gap in the middle to look like it was shiny silver i messed up there i'm trying to do the big one leave the big ones i'm going to do those in a different color but i messed up there it's because the pattern was different it wasn't a small one but anyway i'll leave it like that maybe <laughs> we'll see Right, now on each of these, there's a little piece that it's hanging down. I'm going to colour those of this too, but I'm going to try and leave a little white gap in the middle. So I'm going to make it a little bit darker at each end with a little gap, just to try and make it look a little bit shiny, if we can achieve that. But each of the charms, I'm going to make colourful. I think um, it's fun. Um, I'm going to do this key in the silver though, just because we've got some gold up here on the one above, which is out of shot. Um, and it's quite tricky with gold because you need so many colours. I find you can get away with doing silver with just one colour, which is what I'm going to do. You can do it with number 16, the golden ochre, but I think it's better with um, grey, in my opinion. Yeah. Right, so let's work around and do different colours. Um, actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go back and forth. So I'm going to do the ladybird first because I know what colour that is going to be. So I think if I do it that way, so I'll do the things that I know what colour I want to do them that are sort of obvious colours and then I'll do the other things so that I get a nice mix of colour. So this is 29, which is... It's not showing up particularly well, is it? I haven't put my light on. I don't know if that's going to make much difference anyway. Um, 29, which is um, the, I think it's the carmine red, yep. And for our ladybird, I'm going to put quite a hard layer around the body part here. And then a little bit less towards the middle. I don't want to leave a white shine. I want it to look more like it's painted or enamel. Now the head I usually tend to do in black. I'm just pondering if I want to do that. I think I do. Um, so I'm going to find my black, which is number nine. Can't find it. There it is. Number nine, that shows up a lot better, doesn't it? It needs to sharpen it. It's a bit small, isn't it? <laughs> this little itty bitty detailing. I'm going to try and fade it slightly towards the centre, but again, not leave any white. I really don't know if that's showing up very well, but anyway. Now, the strawberry, that's going to be red. I'm going to use the um scarlet red which is oh hang on is that right number 24 no i think i want to use number two which is called red it looks very orange to me and uh, i need to sharpen everything's going to need sharpening because it's so small but you'll see that i think this looks very orangey and i think it's quite good for the strawberry really I'm going to, again, try and fade it slightly towards the middle. Put lots of layers on at the edge. Just keep keep over-colouring there. And then a little bit less here. Like that. 
There we go. And then I'm going to do the little piece of greenery. Um, oops. Uh, let's, yeah, let's use number five. It's a slightly bluish green, quite a dark green, which I feel is right for the, um, it's just called green. Um, I think it's just right for the strawberry top. So again, just a bit darker on the edges, a little bit lighter in the middle, but don't worry too much. Um, now I'm contemplating whether to do a little bit of shine on these um, to make them look like they're sort of enameled, but I haven't decided yet. This is 52. I thought we would do these little leaves in 52. Again, I'm not... Um, just going to use the one shade because it's such a small leaf so I'm going to make it a little darker here just over colour see I'm just going over and over and then over a bit less a bit less just a little bit there so if you're copying me and colouring along oops, hold the page start here keep colouring I'm still colouring that, that tip Still colouring that tip, extending a little bit, colouring a bit, moving down, down to the tip and stop. And you can see it's darker here and lighter here. Okay. Now, where should we go? Um, hmm, I think the star is going to be in our golden ochre, which is number 16. Again, I'm going to go around the edge first with a heavier layer, so just over colouring the edge. And then you see I've got a little white gap in the middle and I'm just going to gently colour that over, but not so heavy. And hopefully it looks a little bit glowy. Now we can emphasise that, I know it's really small, um, with a brown. I'll just show you anyway. You might find this a little bit too fiddly. You don't have to do it. Um, I'm just sharpening my brown. This is the number 73, which is the Burnt Sienna. And what I'm going to do is just put a little layer around the very edge. It's barely visible but hopefully it makes it look a little bit more glowy. Okay, I do have star tutorials for bigger stars which really show you how to make them look glow more so than that. Um, when you've got a bigger space, it's a, you can put more layers of colour in. Now we have our heart. I want a sort of reddish pink. So I'm going to go for 23, which is our Bordeaux, I think. Oops, there it is, number 23. And again, I think it might be nicer if I layer the colour up a little more on the edge. Now I think that Johanna has carefully placed these items, she may not, to make it so that we've got reds sort of evenly spaced. You know, she hasn't put the red heart next to the strawberry or the strawberry next to the ladybird, so I think that's rather good. Very useful, I have to say. Now I want some blue, I think. So what should we do blue? I'm thinking we could do all blues for everything, but hmm, let's have some fun with our butterfly. That even work? Maybe. Let's try an experiment. So I'm going to take the darkest blue that I have, which is the 33. I can't find it. There it is. It's been. I, someone's put it away in the wrong place. I can't think who that might have been. <laughs> so this is the 33, and I need it really sharp. Okay, and I'm going to add the tiniest bit right in the centre next to the body. Um, I realise we need to do the body as well but and then just fade it out just slightly. Okay. 
Okay, it looks really weird, but hopefully my plan will work. My next colour is number... Hmm. <laughs> number 35, which is... So I had a choice of two that would have worked. I was trying to work out which was going to work the best. This is the um, is turquoise. Okay. And I'm going to extend that out a bit. I'm trying to put more near the centre and less near the edge. It's really hard in this teeny tiny space. But I'm doing the best I can. And then we want our light colour. Number 50. Yeah, green. Um, this is willow green. And I'm going to put it over the whole thing. I think it's quite fun. You get a sort of greeny blue colour. There we go. It's a bit of fun, a bit different. So those were the three that we used. Oops. So a darkish blue, a turquoise and then a green. It's a bit of a similar colour scheme to when I often do like a dark turquoise, like a Helio turquoise from Polychromos and then I might use a black with it and then on my light colour I might use the light thalo green and it makes a nice similarish colour to that. It's just, just playing around a little bit. Okay, the bow. Let's do the bow. Um, what should we, where should we start? Yeah, let's go light first. Let's take this 302. This is the pastel blue. Okay, and I'm just going to do the whole of the bow with the pastel blue. Not too hard. I don't want to um, push down too hard, but I just want a layer. That's it. And then we're going to grab a darker one. I'm going to grab number 30. It is the um, a light blue. And now I'm going to put on the darker areas. So under here where our ribbon has this sort of loops, that would be very dark. Okay, particularly near the top. Then a little bit near to the knot, I'm trying to go a bit lighter than I did in this area. And then under here, like that. And there's our little bow. Now we have our flower. I think it might be fun to do a different colour centre to the outside, even though it's really titchy tiny. Um, let's use this one for the centre number 11. We're going to end up using every pen. No, we're not. <laughs> I've got a lot of pencils in this set. We're not going to use them all. So the centre, I'm using this really um, orangey yellow so it shows up. And then around the outside, what colour? We've got greens, we've got yellows, blue. I think we need another blue. That's what I'm feeling. Um, yeah, what about 37? That is the ultramarine blue. It's quite a... And I'm just going to... Try and make it dark around the edges of the flower and then light it in the centre. It's tricky. I'm not sure it's going to really show. But I think it's a really nice colour with that yellow. It just works really well. Now we have our beads on the necklace. And I need to think, what's going to bring that all together? Um, it's messy. Um, we've got blues, greens, reds, yellow. I'm thinking maybe the sea green might be a good choice. I think I'm going to go with that. That's number 38. If you um, want to know, um, if you want a chart with the names, settler names on, I've got one in my Kofi shop. I probably mentioned it about a million times. So here I'm trying to go do more layers on the outside and the middle. Yeah, so, because uh, I really like knowing the names, and I know other people do too, so I put together a little chart of the names, just so that you can uh, you can have some reference. It's more useful for me when I'm making a video, so I can say what they are, but, uh, and other, I know some of you who watch make videos, we haven't done the middle of the butterfly. 
you remind me? I bet some of you did. Wherever I will do in a minute. She says instantly forgetting. <laughs> oh dear. I don't know if it's my age. Sometimes my memories. Yesterday I said something to my son and he went, Mum, Mum, you remembered a name. Oh my goodness. Mm. I can't remember what name it was now, of course. Yeah. Um, yes. Um, a dark grey, I'm thinking. Oh, she go. Nim, 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 nim. Warm grey, 85. Let's use that one. You could use the 80. Or, no, the 8. Um, otherwise. I'm not going to do anything special. I'm just going to shove some colour down. There we go. Now, our label and string. Now, you know I like to do the label in a colour I've used already. And I'm feeling that this 73 that I just used for the outside of the star would work quite well. It would make it look like a luggage label. This is um, the um, Sienna. No, burnt Sienna. Sorry. Yes, my son was... Wow, you remembered a name. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Now, I'm using the number, the um, 16, the golden ochre for the string, I think. Because we haven't got lots of yellow. We've only got the bit in the middle of the flower and the star. So. Let's use this. I think that bit was the knot, so I coloured that bit yellow. I'm not doing anything fancy, I'm just getting the colour down. There we are. It's quite bright, isn't it? I don't know whether charm bracelets are normally that bright or whether they're normally just, um, you know, plain metal. I'm going to use the Sakura Jelly Roll number 8 to put a little bit of shine on some of the items. You don't have to do this. Um, have a look and see what you think. I just wanted some of them to look like they're enamelled. A little bit fiddly. I mm, haven't got much going on there. We'll do some on the beads too. Just because we're doing it on everything else. I'm not going to do it on those teeny beads. Although they should be silver, they actually I might do a little dot in the middle when I come back round. Dot, dot, yeah. I tried to leave a white gap in the middle. The problem with this pen is the um, nib is so big, it, the white dot takes up nearly the whole of the circle. But um, my little 5.1 is being a bit temperamental, I think it's running out. There we go, so there is um, a little bit of shine. You can decide if you think it's worth the bother of putting that on or not. But there we go, thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, drop me a comment if you've got anything exciting to tell me and uh, visit my other social media sites. If you're following along, share your pictures with me on my Facebook page. You can comment on my posts and share pictures, which I always love to see. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a lovely day and happy colouring.